I'm Dumb Truck DS, and welcome back to Mapping for Quake. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but uh, real life and work have been really crazy. Uh, I'm also trying to live my life a little bit, so uh, the, the videos had to take a little bit of a back seat. But never fear, later this summer we'll have all kinds of more content. Uh, I'll do some tips, videos, and tutorials and things like that, and uh, I have all kinds of things planned. So I'm not going anywhere, just sometimes the pace slows down a little bit. Now in this very quick video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a common issue, uh, the pitch black monster and model problem that arises when you have either a void map or uh, a pit that, or just weird geometry that causes this kind of strange lighting issue. All right, so this is a pretty simple problem to fix, but it crops up a lot in a lot of kind of different situations. What I have here is I have a pit that's covered by a door. And the door is, as you know, a dynamic entity. So it's lit a little differently uh, than the rest of the world. Most likely it's lit in a different order. I don't know the real technical reasons behind this, but what will happen is any model that's directly above this is gonna not going to be lit by this surface, but it's going to be lit by the next piece of world geometry uh, below it. So this is the piece of geometry that it's being lit uh, by. And in this case, I have a negative light here. As you can see, the value is negative 400. And what that does is the opposite of lighting it. It'll actually subtract light and actually you can make pitch black areas. In this map, it doesn't look that great, but uh, it, you'll see you could either, either unlight something or you could actually literally take a light and subtract light. So that's kind of cool. All right, so you can see right here what I'm talking about. This is lit but the shotgun is pitch black. And when I pick this up, you're gonna see these guys run toward me and they will be pitch black. So it doesn't look right. Oops, it's a god mode here. All right, dummies. And there's that negative light I was talking about. It probably could be done a lot better, uh, but uh, it is a cool effect and you should give it a shot. So there's my negative light. And what I have is a false floor. Under that false floor is the trigger change level. I'm gonna hide that. And now you can see the world geometry, the world spawn that uh, is the bottom of the map. So that's what's gonna light the models way up here. So what you do is what I did in this case is I created a light. You'll have to figure out how bright you want it, but I discovered that 600 in this case worked well for what I needed. And then I also have the light pointing straight down, which is 90 degree, or negative 90 degrees. So you use the M angle key and you have zero, negative 90, zero, and that pitches that straight down. I also have soft angle set to 90 and that affects the cone of light and the, the transition from fully dark to fully bright. So I, I set that at a pretty high number at 90 and I, I just experimented with that to get the right setting. The reason I did that soft angle is because I was having light leaks over here. So it, it, some of these settings you just have to kind of mess around with, monkey around with. There's more advanced mappers out there that know exactly how to game all this stuff and figure it out. So we'll compile that, we'll go into the map and now we've got the lighting working pretty well. It looks normal now. This, there's a little bit of a blink there because there's some weirdness with the geometry, but but we're fixed. It's working. I want a no clip down there so you can actually see what this looks like down inside of there. So it's a common problem, but it's an easy fix as you can see. Now this will happen in void maps if you have a lot of black textures all around and if you have a really large area that you're trying to light. I also have had this issue where I've used custom models in a mod and the model uh, bounding box is kind of sitting over an area that's not lit to my, you know, to my satisfaction. So I've made false floors underneath the miscellaneous model, let's say like a ogre uh, body or a head or something on a spike, that kind of thing. I've had to um, use this technique to light the custom model. So this does come up more often than you'd think. And now you know how to fix it. That's it for this one. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.